Hi everybody, so today this video is going to be a Kringle candle video. I'm so excited to be making this video because I was contacted by Kringle candle to um, review some products for you and I received the package today. Uh, they contacted me, contacted me because I'd made an order from them before and the package that I received is amazing. I cannot believe everything that I got sent. Um, so this is just going to be like showing you the scents, showing you what I got sent and, you know, just giving you some information. So this is the company. You might have seen me talk about them before, Kringle Candle. Um, and these are all of the different items that they sell. This gives you some details on the company. You get one of these with each order. I remember getting one of these with my other order that I placed. Um, and then to start off with, we have this little jar of goodies. Well, it's not really a jar, it's a plasticky thing. But it is full of goodies and I, I'm i just amazed. This is gonna last forever. Um, first of all, we have this one, which is called Splash. Sorry, my lighting is absolutely shocking. I really do apologise. So this one is Splash. The thing that's good about um, Kringle Candle is the fact that they are all white. Um, unlike normal candles like the Yankee Candle and stuff like that, they're all coloured, which is really bright and nice, but if you want them to blend into any room, they're all white. So, you know, I think that's quite a nice novel idea. So this one's Splash. It's a very fresh scent. That's a nice one. Um, this one is a wax potpourri. Then we have this one, which is a Christmas fragrance. Um, this one is called Peppermint Twist. And this one. Oh, at first I couldn't smell it because they were all in the jar together and they were all sort of mixing their scents together. But this one, oh my word. If you are looking for the perfect Christmas candle, this is a really, really nice one. Mm, it's it just smells like candy canes and it's got the mint in it oh, it's just absolutely beautiful um, so this one's just a votive and then we have this one which is another wax potpourri this one is Baker's Vanilla and this one mm, it really does smell just of beautiful vanilla mm. <laughs> like it then we have this one which I'm not a massive fan of but my mum really likes this scent. I think I ordered one for her before. Um, this one is coconut pineapple and this is another wax potpourri. <coughs> and this one, both scents sort of mingle together to create like a very different scent. It's very strange this one. I, as I said, I'm not 100% keen on this one, but my mum really likes that one, so I'm going to give that to her. Then we have this one, which is Ruby Red Punch. This one's another uh, votive. This one just smells of berries. I think there's cinnamon in there as well. Then we have this one, which is Spiced Apple. This one, I love apple scents, but I'm not keen on the spiciness. But, you know, sometimes when you smell candles, they can smell very different, like once you've actually got them open. But, again, I could smell the apple and I love the apple, but then the spiciness, it's not for me, but I will use it. Then we have this one, which is a very, very pretty one. This one is Fright Night. And this one is a daylight candle. That is what these look like. They have the little wick in the middle. So basically these are like massive tea lights, um, which I absolutely love. This one's very, very, it sort of smells like a man's aftershave and I really, really like it. It's sort of got a citrusy scent, but I think it smells quite masculine, but I really like that. Love the packaging as well, the fact that it's this sort of Halloween-y type effect. Then we have this one which is creme brulee and this one, I can't really smell it through the packaging unless my nose is all filled up with other things. 
is a sort of vaguely sweet sort of smell, but I can't really smell it through this packaging. And I'll have to open that one up and have a smell of it to figure out how it smells. Uh, this one is Sugar Plum. And this one is another wax papery. Again, just smells of plum. It's quite sweet. Mmm, very nice. Then we have this one which is called Provence. Looks like this. This one is supposed to, it looks like it's supposed to be lavender and orange. I can sort of really smell the orange, but I can't smell the lavender that much. But again, maybe this one's one that needs to be taken out of the packaging to smell properly. Mm. And this is another wax potpourri. This is a wax potpourri melt. And this one is one where you take it out and break it up and melt it and stuff. And this one is cranberry flavoured. Cranberry scented. And I think this one's one of my favourites actually. It smells very festive to me. It's very strong and I think that it's going to definitely fill a room because it's like one of them where you could smell it before you've opened it. Mmm, I really like that one. And these one co ones come in like little tubs. <coughs> then we've got another wax potpourri and this one is called Honeydew Melon. Now I'm not a fan of melon usually but this actually smells really nice. It smells very fresh. It's one that's a little bit more subtle, but I think it is quite nice. Mmm. So that's what that one looks like. And then we have this one, which is called Raspberry Jam. Uh, this is another daylight candle, as you can see. This one's one that smells like sweets. It smells like... I can't recall what sweet it smells like, but it smells like something from like when I was a kid. Oh, if you like raspberries, it's... Oh, it's so beautiful. This is one of the scents that I could find myself just sitting and smelling all day. Mm. That one definitely is uh, one of my favourites. By far, I love it. This one, next one is an interesting one, but I'm just like interested to get this burning. It's this one. So this one is Atkin Cider Donut. And again, this is a um, daylight candle. Oh, and this one you could smell cinnamon, donuts and sugar. Mm, it just smells like really really true to life and how you'd expect like a cinnamon donut to smell and that is exactly what it smells like. So that is it for my little tub of goodies. So grateful for what Greg from Kringle sent me. Um, he also sent me one of the pillar candles. Now these last forever. These last for... I believe that this is a large one. Um, these last for 95 to 130 hours, just in this, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Um, um, the votives last for 15 hours, the breakable wax potpourri uses 3 to 6 times. Um, the daylight candles burn 12 to 14 hours, um, the tea lights burn for 6 hours. So you definitely get quite a lot of time, I think that the daylight candles are only like £2. And you're getting like um, 12 to 14 hours with a burnout of that. So I think that that is very, very good. Anyway, this one, it's huge. Um, this is called Rainy Day. This is what it looks like. I love the picture on this one. I think it's very nice. And there it is. It's a really, really weighty piece. Um, it's got the lid on there as well. I love the desi design of these candles. I think they look much prettier than um, Yankee Candles, like the straight thing and then the glass top on there as well. And if you have like any um, sort of Yankee Candle paraphernalia, like the, you can get like um, lampshade sort of covers things for this, they, they fit on this as well, I'm sure they do their own as well. So this smells a lot like a Yankee Candle that I had before, but I 
loved, I can't remember what it was called. Was it called Fresh Water? I can't quite remember what it was, but if I remember, I will put a little annotation somewhere. But it smells very, very similar. But I think that this is a little bit less in your face. That one, I think, after a while, it got a little bit up your nose. But I think that this one is going to be a little bit more usable. And finally, we have my favourite thing of everything. This is going on burn as soon as I get downstairs. It's this. I think this is the medium size one. Um, but this one, oh my word. This is mango. Now, if you've seen any of my Yankee Candle videos, you know that I am the biggest fan of the scent of, sman of Smango. I'm the biggest fan of the scent of mango, and this really, really doesn't disappoint at all. <sighs> mango is the nicest scent in the world. Mm, it tastes nice as well. Love mango. So yeah, this is the thing that I'm definitely just going to burn the hell out of this. So yeah. This is how they look. I think they look a little bit more classy than Yankee Candle. Um, the logo as well looks a little bit more fancy. Um, <coughs> and uh, I could, again, I've done this in so many videos, I could just sit here and smell this for like the whole video. Mm. So yeah, if you're fan of ma a fan of Mango Peach Salsa, try this one out. Um, it's definitely a top scent. It's it's up there on my favourites already and I've only smelt this. Oh, it's so beautiful. So that is everything that Greg sent me. So thank you very much to Greg and if you guys want a review on a particular thing that I've shown you in this video, leave a comment and I'll try to get it done. Um, but for now I need to try and find something that will hold daylight candles because I don't think I have anything to hold them. I have tea light holders but I think they're a bit smaller. They're quite a lot smaller in fact. Um, but I will endeavour to try and find something. And yeah again thank you to Greg and yeah I'll put the link to their website down in the down bar so you can go and have a look, have a browse. They have a like a fragrance of the month as well I think that's like I think it's either 20 or 30 percent off. I also got sent this in the package. So they also do this um, fundraising thing, which is quite interesting. So if you want to pause that and read it, then go ahead. And that information is on their website if you wanted to do that. But yeah, so that is it. I'm going to go now and I'm going to burn that mango candle. And I'm going to just, just sit there in heaven for a while because it's so nice. Um, so yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching and I will see you all again very, very soon. Adios.